Okay, so welcome to another lesson. This one is again pretty basic. We're going to use this kind of concept all year long, uh, but we just want to get it out of the way and talked about really early on here, and this is the concept of significant figures. You may have talked about this in math class or perhaps in other science classes. We call them sig figs for short because just cool, it rhymes that way, you know, we like to be cool in science. So anyway, what are significant figures? Well, basically, they are the number of the number of digits in your reported value, the reported answer, what you write down. All right, when you write the answer down, it's the number of digits that you write down. Basically, the number of significant figures. So, if you if you're supposed to have three significant figures in your final answer, then you need to write it down in a way that there's only three significant figures. So how exactly does, do you do that and what does that mean? I mean, when you're working with a calculator, what you're going to get is something like that. You know, your calculator gives you a huge decimal. Do you write that all down? No, you do not. So here is the thing. Significant figures is basically figuring out how am I supposed to round this off? What would this look like if it was one significant figure? What would it look like if it was two significant figures? And what would it look like if it was three? And so on and so forth. Okay. So, really quick, bottom line, uh, this is pretty simple in this one. We're going to round this answer off. If we want one significant figure, then basically we're going to need just one digit in the answer because it's a small number. So the 2 right there, we round that off. 2.1, 1 is less than 5. So if we're writing this to one significant figure, it's just going to be 2. All right. If we're rounding it off to two significant figures, then you're going to get 2 point, and the answer is 2.1, because 4 is less than 5. Now, if we're doing it to three significant figures, we're going to do, again, three digits. So 2.14, because again, 2 is less than 5. Now, what if we did 4? If we did four significant figures? Well, if we did 4, then we would end up with 2.1. Four, three, because the two rounds up due to the fact that eight is greater than five. All right. So uh, moving on from there, that's just really basic rounding. You know, that's pretty simple. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. Now, the rules for rounding off and figuring significant figures. What is a significant figure? The first thing is if you have no decimals in the number that you're concerned with, for example, this number right here. If there are no decimals, no decimal points, you know, no decimals at all in the problem, this is 1,462,963 kilograms. If you want to write that as two significant figures, you have to round it off to this right here, one, right at that second digit, right there. All right, so if we want to do that, then basically we round off the four, and since six, is higher than 5, we have to round up the 4. So we get 1,500,000 kilograms. That's rounded off to two significant figures. All, right. All of these zeros at the end are not significant. All right. So that's rule number one, basically. If you have no decimal points, you just round it off to the whole number for however many significant figures you're asking for. If we wanted three significant figures here, if we wanted three that would look like this, 1, 4, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, on and on, you know, so on. I ran out of space, but you get the idea. Rule number, rule number 2. If you have zeros at the end of the number, such as here in the example, and there is no decimal point, those zeros are not significant. Not significant. All right? Now, if you have ending zeros, such as here, and there is a decimal point, these zeros are significant. So how many significant figures are there here? There are two. One, two. Zeros don't count. How many significant figures are in this other example? There would be five significant figures there. Five significant figures because there are five digits there. The zeros count because of the decimal point. All right. 
So with the decimal point, zeros at the end count as significant figures, and without the decimal point, the zeros at the end do not count. Last thing, when there are zeros in front of the number, those zeros never count, regardless of whether there's a decimal point or not. All right, so here, those zeros don't count, and in this first example here, since there are no decimal points, these zeros also do not count. All right, they're at the end, but there's no decimal point. Here, all of those zeros there, those are not significant. All they're establishing is how far we are from a whole meter, and we're going, you know, there's, we're basically very much less than a whole meter. So the only digits here that count as significant are these two right there. So both examples in this case have only two significant figures. All right, so that's a really quick ex uh, introduction to significant figures. We'll do more practice with this in class.